indictment is expected to be handed up today against a man accused of killing an eight-year-old boy in Brooklyn. Levy Aaron is undergoing psychiatric evaluation after the death of eight-year-old Libby Kletzky. Meantime, city officials are taking steps to protect other children in Libby's name. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles is live now in Borough Park with more. Darla? Good afternoon, Lori. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lawmakers are introducing Libby's Law. Now, this would create a safe haven for kids who are lost or just looking for help. And thousands of homes and families and businesses are already expected to sign up. Outside of the yeshiva where young Libby Kletsky set off for the first time on his way home, lawmakers and Shoreham leaders announced plans to create safe havens for lost kids across the city. And so the concept is really going to tap into the goodwill of New Yorkers because New Yorkers are really some of the most incredible people in the world. And despite the fact that it's a big city, there is massive interest in helping each other. Under Libby's law, businesses would voluntarily submit their employees for a background check. If it passes, a bright green sticker would be displayed in the storefront window, a symbol that lost kids can search for. I definitely think anything after this story is going to help the situation. Here he is, the innocent and lost eight-year-old boy trying to find his way home last week. Police say he asked a stranger for help and say the child was kidnapped, suffocated, and dismembered by Levy Aaron. His home remains a crime scene seven days after his arrest. Weisel believes state-issued ID cards for kids or even cell phones that only call parents are also good options in addition to Libby's Law. She's a mother of two and lives right down the street from the accused child murderer. Definitely eerie, and this guy works for my father-in-law, so it definitely touched home. Um, we definitely had sleepless nights. And likely the same for the mother and father of Libby Kletsky. Their rabbi says their shiva ended Wednesday morning. They are doing everything to hold themselves together and to be strong. And, uh, and uh, they pray and hope and pray that, uh, like I said before, that uh, a lot of goods will come out of it. Now, the medical examiner had submitted its final report, and now that this is complete, grand jury action is expected as early as this afternoon. Reporting live in Borough Park, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Darla, thank you. And we are following a developing story. In